Okay, we're rolling. What's up, guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of Booyah. My name is Ryan Davis, and with me today is... My brother from another mother and best friend, Jack Jenkins. So today, we're going to figure out what's more terrifying, being attacked by an infectious alien monster from outer space? Or being eaten alive by an ugly-ass, brain-craven zombie? Well, folks, we shall find out real soon. <laughs> Ryan, is that you? Oh my god, you little shit! Go, go, go! Ryan! <laughs> I swear Good to shit. god, I'm so sick and tired of you and your stupid little pranks. I'm gonna tell mom. <laughs> nice sunny day here in hell. My setup. Got my bed. My movie posters. Here's Johnny. Ryan, get out. Uh, this isn't your room anymore. You're moving out, remember? Uh, can't wait. Aw, oh, are you gonna miss me? <laughs> Hell no. As soon as you're gone, the dog's moving in here. Oh, whatever, bozo. Oh, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you take that box out of my room? You asked, Ryan, come back. Kuja! How's my baby doing? How's my baby doing? Hey, Mom. I don't want you filming me with your dad's camera. You know this. Technically, it's not his anymore. It's my camera. It is his camera because he gave it to you, and that's not a gift. A gift is the iPhone that I got you. Don't worry, Mom. I still love you more. You better. So, is your new boyfriend coming over tonight? Okay, I'm done. Go get the fireworks. Go. Nice camera, buddy. Yeah, not as nice as yours, Ryan. Thanks. Excited to film today? Yes, I am. I'm always excited to film. Test out a new camera, it's gonna be awesome. Ah, I almost hit that car. <laughs> oh, are you okay? Hi, Tina. How are you? Peekaboo, honey. Run, peekaboo. 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 Hello, Lorraine. Video me. This isn't candid camera. Get that thing out of here. Oh, Hi, Grandma. Oh. Save it for the fireworks. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so, okay, I'm pretty sure your family don't like me filming now. So, what you doing on your new iPhone? Nothing. Come on, Ryan. Say cheese. Say cheese. Wow. A long spark that I'm going to go. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Good shit. So, what do you think? Uh, it's not bad. And this is my room. Um, major upgrade. Obviously, it's much bigger than yours. Whatever. <laughs> oh, do you know what the best thing is about having your own place? Wait. <laughs> Not having to share the bathroom with you. Oh my gosh, so nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, where do you think you're going? Well, I had this really big bean burrito this morning, so I kind of got to use the bathroom. Oh my god. Ew, that is so disgusting. You know, 
The more I think about it, the more I think we should make a movie about a zombie apocalypse. But instead of people, animals. And we'll call them zombinals. When was the last time you had a girlfriend? Uh, two and a half years ago. <laughs> I haven't had a girlfriend in forever. So, do you have any plans for the summer? Anything that doesn't involve pranking people? I don't know. Probably look for a job or something. Oh, well, I could help you with that. Um, do you remember Dottie? No. Uh, she's the old lady that lives down the street. Uh, I used to watch her birds for her whenever she left. Oh yeah, the old bird lady. <laughs> I remember now. Yeah, well, that old bird lady needs a bird sitter. So, if you're interested, I could call her. Okay, cool. So, what exactly do I have to do with their bird? Brian, it's a bird sitting job. All you have to do is watch her birds, feed them, keep her house clean. That's her house. All right, bring out the spy cam. How do I look? <laughs> the old lady will never know she's being filmed. All right, I'm ready. <clears throat> okay, I'm rolling. What's up, guys? My name is Ryan Davis, and welcome to another episode of Booyah. Figure I'd change things up today since my mom won't let me prank anyone for a while. But today, I'm wearing the world's smallest camera. And why am I wearing this? I'm going to give you guys a first hand glimpse of the mysterious bird woman. Let's do this. Who's there? I'm, I'm, it takes me a while to get Hi, to the it's, door. It's Ryan. Ryan. Ryan mm -hmm. Davis, Rachel's brother. Oh, right, Rachel's brother. You're the one that's going to take care of my Rocky. Oh, did you have any problems finding the house? Oh, no, no, not at all. It's just down the street. Come, come in. I'll, I'll, I'll introduce you to, to Rocky, and I'll show you what you need to do. There's my baby. Isn't he beautiful? Rocky, this is Ryan. Ryan, this is Rocky. Hi, Rocky. <laughs> ah, see? That's his way of saying hello. Here, you just need to mop, wet mop, like the dining room and whatever. In here, you have to do the vacuuming, you have to do the dusting. Here, hold my keys for me a minute. These are the cleaning supplies, and there's towels and there's sponges. What you do is you're gonna take this, and you're gonna go to the pool, and you're gonna make sure if any leaves go in, you know, that you clean them out, okay. and things like that. So what's the verdict? Did you get the job? Of course I got the job, but stupid Rachel forgot to mention that Dottie wanted a house slave. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like the smell of bird poop in the morning. You're getting a bit more of it than me being right down, nose first into it. Can you give me some help with this bag? Uh, no. Come on, put some elbow grease in it, boy. I don't pay you to half ass mop my, my floor. Yo ho below the man down. You not come back here no more. I get your brother Julio. He work, he work five times as much. But half price. Yeah, that's right. Time to clean the boat. Don't drop her a damn broom. That's an expensive broom, motherfucker. Yeah, get every single one of those leaves. Do you see all that nasty shit at the bottom of the pool? Yeah, that, that's gonna have to go. 
That's gonna have to go. So, do you plan on going into the vocation of janitorial arts? You seem to have a, a natural aptitude for it, bro. Really. I mean, like, I'm impressed. I would hire you to clean, like, my school or my office or my house. Are you available next Wednesday? There you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, well, you need to unwrap some cord, buddy. Ooh, hey. I wonder what happened to Rocky's roommate. Hey, Ryan. Yep. Look up. Think Bird Woman's got some secrets? I doubt it. She's too old to climb up there. Huh. Here, hold this a second. I'm gonna go get a chair and go explore that. Wow. See anything up there? There's like lots of old boxes and shit up here. You gotta check this out, man. Wait, you're serious about going up there? Yeah! Alright. You go first. I give him back my camera. Look at this place. God damn it. Oh, shit. There's spider webs all over here, man. God, it smells like someone died up here. Look at all this shit. It's like a car. Fuck. How did that. Oh, man. They're like gold figurine. Oh, Whoa. That is awesome. Look at this. Uh, it's not, not a Van Gogh, but still, that's nice. I'd put it up in my room. Oh, jackpot, man. Look at this. This is Marvel DC. These are old school, all in the original packaging, man. Spider-Man. So, what is that? It's an, it's an eBay invoice. I don't think this shit belongs to Dottie. What? Well, the name on here is Walter Brooks. And it's this address, but... Was he a seller or a buyer? He was selling it. He was selling it. All this shit. Dude, you know what that means? I bet Dodie doesn't know any of this shit's up here. So this Walter, he was selling all this crap? Yeah. I mean, it's gotta be worth something. The gold statues, the comic books. I mean, all we'd have to do is... Holy shit. Dude, that is one raggedy, ugly ass doll. Look at that. Did you get the ball, dude? No. I must have come loose or something. It has a name. Heidi. Dude, that's real gold. Probably 18 carat. This is so weird. Have you noticed that there's dust everywhere except in the doll? Holy shit, you're right. Maybe it's alive. <laughs> shit. <laughs> what, what the hell, Jack? Oh, I'm sorry, Ryan. Did I scare you? Let's just go, man. Fuck. What the fuck, man? Oh, shit. It's not even funny. Dude, that almost hit me. What? Fuck. 
these rusty ass nails in here? God damn. Damn, dude, you gotta be careful next time. I didn't even hit anything. Let's just get the hell out of here. Fine. Alright, watch. It's laying down there. We're gonna give it a couple seconds. Look, it moved. It's sitting up. Yo, something must have hit it. Like, the wood or something. I don't know. No, look. You rewind it again. Alright, laying down. Sitting up. It moved by itself. So, wait. You think the doll is haunted? I don't think it's haunted, but... It would be a sick YouTube video if you put it up. Put it as haunted doll caught on tape. You could get a lot of views off of it. <laughs> views? Look at all the valuable shit up there. Uh, that gold figurines? There's gold, real gold. I mean, there's gold in them. We could sell that. Come on. This doll is abandoned for a reason. Oh. Of course it's abandoned. I mean, janky ass doll. Who'd want it? pointed your camera like right at me. <laughs> no, I wasn't really filming anything. Okay, cool. <laughs> you know, I've seen you go by my house a few times. Do you live around here? Yeah. Oh, sweet. It's a nice camera, by the way. What are you filming out here? Um, just like some random stuff for my film. Your film? <laughs> You're making a movie? No, not an actual movie. I'm just filming some pickup shots from my YouTube videos. You know, with that camera and like all this desert, you could make a pretty sick horror movie. <laughs> I know, right? Do you have any ideas I could use? Let's see. Um, okay. How about an, a UFO abduction movie? Like, have aliens come down and kidnap random people and torture them and do all kinds of weird experiments on them. Oh, and they have to be eaten alive. <laughs> have you ever seen Hostel? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so imagine like Hostel, but on a spaceship. And aliens, they've been abducting us for centuries. See, they don't invade us because to them, we're like livestock, and the world is their farm. Wow. <laughs> That's seriously a good idea. Did you just make that up? Hell yeah, I did. Ryan. Amanda. Are you still filming this? wrong with you? Still filming. What's up? Oh, you're so annoying. Did you get me one? Nope. Evil. <laughs> Sorry. 
Hey, so I have a question. Back when you used to work for Dottie, did you ever go up inside her attic? Attic? What attic? What attic? <laughs> I had to get this on tape. My little brother is getting his ass whooped on mine by what is probably a seven-year-old Asian girl. Oh, Elijah's so sad. So sad that you are my little brother. There's no way that you're really my brother. You've got to be adopted. But look, I mean, you didn't inherit my good looks, didn't inherit my brains, didn't inherit my wit, my charm, my sense of humor, my creativity, nothing. Just nothing. You are adopted. I asked mom, she told me yesterday, she was like, she wished she could return you. She wanted to trade up and get a better model. I think she's looking at the seven-year-old Japanese girl that's kicking her ass right now. Shut up, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Dude, he was on your side. Stop killing your own team. You're supposed to see the ones with like the red marker over their head? Those are the ones you kill, bro. Oh man, so many people are gonna see how bad you are at this game. I'm gonna put this up on my Booyah video and then Everyone, millions of people, will see what a fucking loser you are. Elijah, don't cry. Whatever you do, don't cry. There are no tears in this house. Don't, what the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Sounds like somebody's upstairs. Maybe it's mom. She's still at work, retard. Oh, just go. Somebody's up there. Go, just go. No, you go. I've got your back. Come on. Oh, just go. What? Just go, fucking go. Oh. What? <gasps> Shit. How did that? fucking doll get in my house. <laughs> Booyah, Ryan! Told you I'd get you back. Whatever. So you seriously had nothing to do with the doll? What? The doll, man. You didn't put it in my room? Jack, breaking and entering isn't even my style. Listen, I need to talk to you. There's been some weird shit happening. Like what? Just weird stuff. Now that I think about it, I realize this has all started happening since we found that doll. Good thing it's trash, Jay. Problem solved. Hell uh, yeah. I have to go run some errands, but if you can watch your cousin just for an hour or two, I'll pay you. Is that okay? Okay, cool. Bye, Tina! Bye. Ah! Uh, nothing says I love you like a big monster hug! Okay, be careful. Yay! And go. Bye. 
police just wrapped up their work for the evening at the house behind me. Smith, he's the fire marshal here on the scene. Hopefully we can get that from speaking with the witnesses and are continuing okay. to follow the story this morning. Say I'm at the scene of a truly shocking crime. And it's not just neighbors who are stunned. There are veteran police officers out here having a hard time stomaching what they've seen. 72 year old Dottie Porter found dead in her oh home, her God. head facing backwards, completely backwards. And as if that isn't bizarre enough, her pet parrot was found in the oven, cooked alive. Right now, investigators are at a complete loss. They say there are no signs of a break in. They have no suspects and no one in the area saw anything suspicious. For True Vegas News, I'm Brooke McKenzie. Holy shit. Holy shit. We are fucked. Okay, how are we fucked? We didn't do anything. How are we not fucked? All we do is prank people, man. How am I gonna tell my mom about this? She's gonna fucking kill me. Jack, we're not gonna tell your mom anything because we didn't do anything. Right now, the best thing to do is just don't say anything, okay? Jesus, somebody fucking cooked her bird and then twist the old lady's neck around until it was backwards. That's sick. Oh, fuck, oh, man. Now we got the police watching us. Watching us? Jack, the police would have already questioned us if they thought we did this. Are you still filming? Put the fucking camera down. Right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. So you have to press really, really hard on them. And then here, take the pick. My finger hit already. Mm hmm. And the strum? Yeah. Yeah. What do I do now? Just keep strumming it like. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> I hope. Off. Holy shit. Dude, this is impossible. That doll should have been in a fucking landfill by now. This is getting really fucking weird, Jack. <laughs> Jack, I know you're playing with me now. You took the doll out of the trash and put her there. What? You know what I think? I think you're the one behind all this bullshit. What? Yeah, you come over here and then you try oh and play all God. your little Are games. Oh my God! Are you really fucking serious right now? Acting like you're right my now? best friend. This I trust you. This is a joke. You. I'm getting out of here. Audio psycho. No, fuck you. No, run. Don't forget your girlfriend. Fuck. And stay the hell away from me. Yeah, I will. Asshole. Harris from the Metro Police Department. I'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Okay. It's a nice looking camera you got there. Expensive? I don't know. It used to be my dad's. He gave it to me for my birthday. So Ryan, what do you like to film? Oh, uh, anything really. Short films, YouTube videos, web series, just a lot of random stuff. Maybe prank videos, perhaps? Um, yeah, that too. So did you or your friend Jack Jenkins ever prank video your neighbor, Dottie Porter? I'm sorry, what? Dottie Porter, your neighbor. No, we would never, we wouldn't do that. 
From what I understand, she had you look over her place while she was out of town. Well, I mostly just went over there to look over her bird, and I also did some work around the house. It was just mostly a Is weekend. Is that thing on? Turn that off, Ryan. Holy shit. And this is the second time you threw Heidi out, right? Yeah, only this time without Jack knowing about it. Yeah, but how would he find the doll in the first place? I mean, he would literally have to go to the landfill and look the whole, like look over the whole place just to find her. It's it's almost impossible. So you don't think Jack was behind all this? Honestly, I don't know anymore. Have you told anyone else about this? Does your mom know? No. Ryan, just tell her. Trust me, if you don't say anything, it's just gonna make you look guilty. And tell her about the detective too. Not saying anything, it's definitely gonna make you. Jack! Okay, so I think it's on. Now, this nanny cam is really, really old, but it can hold up to 30 hours on a single charge. Smile for the camera. Thanks, Amanda. Okay, I'm done holding her. Okay. Ugh. She's definitely a personal creation of some sort. What makes you so sure? There's no serial number or stamp on her, which means it's an original. An original? It wasn't made by some toy manufacturer. They usually like to label their products. I mean, my grandma had all her dolls. They all had them. But how do you explain the necklace? No idea. I'm setting up a surveillance system to monitor the doll throughout the night. Surveillance camera number one. This is gonna be my main camera because it has enough memory to last throughout the night and it's gonna be monitoring the doll. Camera number two is gonna be the nanny cam just to monitor the side view of the closet. It's gonna be resting on the table over there. Finally, I have surveillance camera number three. It's gonna be in my MacBook. It's gonna be in the corner of the room showing that I wouldn't be the one moving the doll or playing any trick at all. For backup purposes, we have my iPhone. Last but not least, we're gonna have my DSLR as a backup camera. Right here is gonna be one of the most important parts to this whole thing. It's gonna be my spy cam. It's lightweight and uh, it'll give me easy access if I need to just film anything or catch it on camera.
Okay, the doll's gonna move. Watch. That's pretty cool. How'd you do that? Uh, no, Mom. This wasn't a trick. The doll really moved. Okay, whatever. I don't have time for this right now. Make sure that gets put away, okay? Tina's coming over later. Fuck. Hey, play where I can see you. Tina! Tina! Are you okay? What happened? Did you fall? Tina, are you okay? Are you- did you hurt yourself? Tina, what happened? What the fuck? Why was she crying? I don't know. She just started crying for no reason. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go home, okay? We're gonna go bye-bye.
Oh my god. Can you hold this for me? Yeah. Right? Are you okay? The doll's gone. What? Are you being serious right now? Wait, Amanda. Amanda, I swear I'm not messing with you. Yeah, that's what's scaring me. I kind of wish you were messing with me. You know, I just need to go home and process all of this. Look, it doesn't help that you used to prank people. You might want to think about getting some real proof. Okay, this is going to sound really stupid. What? If, and I do mean if, the doll somehow escaped, where would it go? Intro, here I go. Oh my God. See this scrawny little kid with the dildo belt scrapped to his head? <laughs> now I know he doesn't look it. This is my little cousin Jack. And I didn't get my good looks, but he got my brain, because he's a fucking mastermind behind this whole party! <laughs> That's right, Elijah. Don't answer the phone. Because when I find you, you're fucking dead. Oh, oh, my leg is wet. Hey, Troy, have you seen Elijah? What? Hey, hey, hey. Did you see a kid come in here? Kid? Like a kid? Yeah, like a 12, 13 year old. Oh, hell no. Excuse me. Elijah! Hey, Elijah! Hey, 
Is there like a 10, 11 year old kid in here I've seen? Uh, can't you see it's obviously occupied? Oh, bitch. Elijah, stop fucking around. <sighs> what the fuck? <sighs> what the Elijah! Elijah? Las Vegas. Neighbors are in disbelief and family members are distraught. The victims have been identified as 17 year old Jack Jenkins and 13 year old Elijah Jenkins. No arrests have been made at this time, but police detectives aren't ruling out Jack as a possible suspect. He would never do this, not to his family. He, he was looking forward to going to college. Metro Homicide also believes Jack could be responsible for another murder case that took place just last week. I feel that there's a direct connection between Dottie Porter and Jack Jenkins. Friends and relatives who knew Jack said he was a well-known prankster shooting videos for a web series called Booyah. His friend, Ryan Davis, also a fellow prankster, was unavailable for comment. Make sure you get me in the frame, not just him. Oh, that's him. Ryan. Ryan, why do you They're think, why do you think They're Jack comments. killed his family in the way that he did? No comments. Ryan, nobody seems to know why he, how does it feel He's to be the best friend of a murderer? Are you kidding me? Fuck off.
Koja, come here. Koja! Koja, come on. Come on, Koja, come inside. What's wrong, girl? What's wrong? Come on, Koja. Come inside. Come on. Come on. What's wrong? What were you barking at? Kuja. Kuja. Where the hell is she? I don't get how Kuja could have escaped. I don't know. She knows better than to just run off like that. She's five years old. I mean, we left the gate open one time and she didn't even go anywhere. Hi, my name is Ryan Davis. I'm going to be doing a video diary. Some strange things have been happening the past couple of days. I can't explain how all the toys were turning on and moving by themselves just because no one was home. I don't know why my dog was barking into the house when she normally just barks at cars passing along the street. And I can't really tell why she wouldn't want to come into the house either when she normally hates being outside. I'm not sure how she could have got out my mom said she didn't let her out at all. I thought it was Jack causing these things, and it's obviously not at this point. Hello, Ryan. Hideous looking thing, yours. Well, where did you find that? I found it on the doorstep. One of your prank toys? Here, take it. Take it. I see you're still playing around with that camera, Ryan. Sir, can I help you? Yes. I would like to ask you a few more questions. You know, my mom said I shouldn't be talking to you unless I have a lawyer present. Don't worry, they're harmless questions. Do you mind turning off that camera? Yeah, I have the right to record this. It's in the First Amendment. I checked it online. What the fuck? In your statement, you claim that Jack wanted to throw a party at Dottie's house. That's why you two stopped talking prior to his death. Yeah. Well, we have witnesses that say that Jack was wearing one of those GoPro cameras on his head. But when the police got there, the GoPro camera was gone, and so was his cell phone. They were stolen? We don't know. That's what's slowing down this investigation. I was hoping you could tell me something. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about that. Nothing at all. No. This is not good, Ryan. It's not good at all. Did you know that Jack's little brother had a hamster? Yeah. Well, we found that hamster in Jack's closet. Completely gutted. Same sort of thing happened to Dottie's bird. Somebody threw a parrot and baked it alive in the oven. Now, that would make a hell of a video prank, wouldn't it? You know what? I think you should go. Yeah. Well, one more thing. I'm sorry your dog is missing, Ryan. 
I hope you find her. Ryan, we're gonna be in touch. Maybe we'll be able to find Heidi. If not Heidi, something that looks like her, we can trace it back to Heidi or... Yeah. Maybe we can find who made it. Okay, let's look at these ones. More doll books. Look, they have a stamp or a serial number, something like that. But when we looked at Heidi, she didn't have that. There's nothing in here. It's just dolls from things that just happen to have the same name as Heidi. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Like a demon. Maybe that's what's on the inside of Heidi. God, I hope not. Well, H.P. Lovecraft used to be the science fiction writer from the early 1920s, and he wrote about some of the weirdest horror stories I've ever read. Some of his stories were usually about monsters from different dimensions. He always believed that there was something out there, and if we knew about it, we would either die of shock or go mad. Like that. Okay, so I typed in World's Most Haunted Doll after looking at that website, and Robert the Doll is the first one, and... He has nothing on Heidi. Eugene's parents often heard him talking to the doll and that the doll spoke back. So all it did was it would move things in his room. It never, never killed anyone. Annabelle, the true story of a demonic doll. That sounds like Heidi. The entire house had a strange feeling to it, but it was the attic that was the most unnerving. Didn't you guys find Heidi in an attic or something? Yeah. Well, they found her in an attic too. Back in the attic, we found an invoice from this collector named Walter Brooks. I looked him up and apparently he was killed in some car accident like 10 years ago. I don't think Dottie ever knew about Walter or the attic. There's nothing telling us what Heidi is or where she came from or anything. There's literally nothing on Heidi. Okay, so after going through like 40 books and scouring the internet, we're still nowhere near being close to knowing anything more about Heidi than we knew this morning. Okay, I'm about to conduct an EVP recording by asking Heidi a series of questions starting now. Is Heidi your real name? Okay, um, how old are you? What do you want from me? Where did you come from? Are you responsible for my dog going missing? Have you killed anyone? Okay, so right here I'm going to show you guys that anything I try to post of Heidi, whether it's a video or a picture, and to any other site such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, I try to upload anything of her, it just won't go through. So right here I'm going to show you an example when I try to post a video to YouTube. Alright, so I'm going to pull up YouTube right now. There's the upload screen. And then I have a file waiting over here. Alright, so here's the file. And then that happened. There's the crash report saying it just quits unexpectedly and I can't figure it out. It does the same exact thing for Twitter and Facebook. It can't go through either. So I can't figure it out and I don't know what to do at this point. Did you try it on, you tried on everything? I tried everything. Okay, I'm gonna try uploading onto Facebook now. Good luck. Um. Oh. <laughs> I told you. It's unbelievable. It's like something from the Twilight Zone. I already tried that laptop. It won't work. No. I'm going on Craigslist. Craigslist? For what? I'm going to look for a psychic.
Before we begin, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vera Constantin. I'm originally from Bucharest, Romania. I come from a family of gypsy psychic. I'm a white witch and a spiritualist. Let's get down to the business. I don't think you are here for a reading. Let me see it. To say Heidi is possessed, it's understatement. Contrary to the popular beliefs, spirits cannot possess inanimate objects. They could only move an object. They simply cannot live in it as a host. What I just saw is something very non-human living in a old toy. There is a reason why nobody knows about this old toy. Oh shit. Ryan, I sense a sadness in you. Somebody very close has recently died. Perhaps a friend? Whoever was that person had provoked the door until it was too late. Did you do that? Can you please remove this from my property? Let's just get the hell out of here, Amanda. What'd you expect? It's just some stupid psychic off Craigslist. She didn't even know what the hell she's talking about. Amanda, hold on. Heidi is never- What happened to Jack? What? Your friend Jack. The news said that he killed his entire family, but now the psychic is saying your doll did it. Just please tell me it was Jack. Amanda, it couldn't have been Jack. Jesus Christ, Ryan, why didn't you say anything? And say what? That the doll might be a real-life Chucky? You can walk over here. Amanda! Mom. just saw is something very non-human living in a no toy. There is a reason why nobody knows about this toy.
Oh my god. Kuja? I can't believe we're actually doing this. So, this is probably the deepest part of Lake Mead, and it's probably the perfect spot to get rid of Heidi. So, just go straight down. Alright, let's do this. Do you mind if I do the honors? Be my guest. Sink. 
Yes. She's out of our lives. Thank God. Bye bye, Heidi! Nobody can hear us scream. Woo! <laughs> She's gone. Nowhere to be seen. Free at last. Thank you so much, Ryan, for doing this. I really need to see myself on film so I can, you know, critique it without having to look in the mirror the whole time. Sure. <clears throat> okay, so this is the stereo. Um, just press play, I have everything set up, and then, you know. Just press play, you got it. And here we go. Tens of thousands of fish have gone belly up in Lake Mead, and as you can see, their corpses are now littering the shoreline. Initial tests show nothing toxic nor unusual in the water. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I mean, there were dead fish popping up everywhere. I've never seen anything like it. No foamy substance, no toxic algae, water temperature and pH level, completely normal. It's as if they all died for no reason. Experts say this is the largest fish kill they've ever encountered. And while it's quite a sight, it's an even worse smell. A swim ban has been issued for all of Lake Mead while environmental officials try to get to the bottom of this mystery. And the entire shoreline at Lake Mead is littered with all sorts of species. Now what caused such a strange and unusual fish kill is still a mystery. Police are investigating another gruesome death here in Las Vegas. Two men tried to save 35-year-old Vera Constantine from her burning home, but they just couldn't get to her in time. People in this neighborhood are really shocked. Went outside and uh, we see my neighbor's house on fire. Police believe Constantine filled her bathtub with gasoline, got in, and lit a match. Everyone is just stunned by this tragedy. Now, investigators are looking at this as a suicide, but they haven't ruled out the possibility that foul play could be involved. Terrible tragedy to lose one of our own men, particularly an officer like Detective Harris who served in law enforcement for over 18 years. But at the end of the day, there was no foul play here. Eyewitness reports confirmed he was not in a high-speed pursuit, nor were there any dispatch calls from the detective prior to the crash. How 
he lost control is still unclear at this point. We do know it was not mechanical failure. And then he started swerving on the freeway. When do you see that, man? Unlike it was like an action movie or something. So how do you explain the shots fired from inside the vehicle? Thank you. No more questions. Bravo! Thank you! Is mom home? No. Is she working late again? No, she's with her boyfriend again. Hey, so do you want to come inside? I could show you the footage. Um, maybe another time. I kind of have to be somewhere tonight. Be somewhere tonight? Why, you got a boyfriend now? Like I'm really gonna tell you with a camera in front of me. <laughs> oh, you're already blushing. Maybe you and mom can go on a double date. I'm not blushing. Anyways, bye. Uh, oh, thanks for helping me and see you sometime soon. Bye, love you. Bye.